Hello there. It's a pretty exciting day for me at TNT Milk Express. Down here in Spokane, picking up a brand new milk tanker. Oh, look at that. Pretty excited. It's been a long time coming. And I'm just really excited. <laughs> we'll do more of a, a video tour in a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work at uh, getting it home, back to the farm. Good morning. Thought I'd take this opportunity to give you a little walk around and tour of our new milk tanker. But first, let's talk about the old milk tanker. This is the milk tanker that we have been using. It's a 1961 Heil. 2,500 gallon, and it was originally built for the Carnation Company. Uh, I bought it from a, another milk hauler on the west side of the state, and uh, it was in pretty rough condition when we got it. Uh, I really bought it for just the tank because I had to put a whole new axle on it, uh, new wheels, new tires, all new brake system, so new lines, new valves, new tank. Uh, had to do extensive framework uh, repair on the frame uh, but the lights all worked and so all I did was change them over to LEDs but the lights didn't have to do anything there uh, it's been a good tank and even though we put a lot of work into it to extend its life uh, we still knew that it wasn't going to last forever and so we went ahead and I believe it was last January started working on ordering a new milk tanker you may be wondering why we went to all this work in uh, getting this trailer behind me ready and not just buy a, a nicer trailer or a new trailer to begin with. And part of the problem was just availability. Uh, we were looking for a small milk tanker. Uh, like I mentioned, this was built in 1961. The industry has left that era far behind. Uh, most milk tankers are much bigger than that. and so. This was basically all I could find at the time. And then as far as new tankers, it was a pretty extensive uh, wait list uh, to get them. So uh, we needed something in the interim for sure. And this fit the bill and it's still a good tanker. We're not gonna get rid of it. It's gonna serve as a good backup to the new tanker, uh, but we're certainly happy to have the new tanker on board. This is our new tanker. It is a 2024 Westmark made in California. And it's an interesting uh, connection between the old tanker and the new tanker. So the old tanker was Heil and they were mostly built in Wisconsin. That's where they were founded, America's Dairyland. But they had a small tank building operation in California. And I'm pretty sure that's where our Heil was built was the California, uh, just based off the evidence I've been able to dig up. Anyway, in the mid sixties, uh, a fella bought out that California operation and started building milk tanks under the name of Certified. And they built a lot of milk tanks and eventually uh, they changed their name to Westmark. And so these tankers could be distantly related um, but you know, the brand name is Westmark, but it's still, uh, the company name is still certified stainless. And so, um, yeah, a little family tree information for you. This new tanker is a little bit bigger than the old tanker. It's 3000 gallons instead of 2,500. Uh, they're about the same length. Um, this one's just a little taller. It's a round barrel instead of elliptical and a single axle and it has a belly uh, pump compartment uh, just like the old one so configuration wise they're very similar figured we start at the top so one of the biggest improvements over the Heil is this pipe right here this is part of what's called a cip system which is clean in place which means i can clean the tanker without having to climb inside and manually scrub it show you more about this in a minute then we have the uh the dome lid it's actually two lids so there's an outer lid a dust cover and then an inner lid and these are vents to allow air in and out of the tank as you're filling it 
and you have a gasket and you have inside the tank and then you see that pipe there that's part of the CIP system as well and at the end of those pipes there's a uh, it tees when it goes inside the tank here so one goes forward one goes back but at the ends of those pipes we'll see if we can show you are spray balls So we can pump solution, so we can pump cleaning solution through there and wash down the inside of the tank. Here's the other end of that CIP line. So it's capped right now, but that's where you'd hook up your hose to pump your solution. And then we have a pump compartment mounted underneath the trailer. So you see we have a pump that's a FIP, which is flexible impeller pump. And we got our milk hose and it pumps the uh, straight up into the bottom of the tanker. On the inside of the door here, we have a couple dairy wrenches. And then this is our sample dipper tube for taking uh, milk samples. Here at the back, underneath this round cover is the discharge valve for pumping it uh, empty. And that's what that looks like. This is the back side of the pump compartment. So that's where the uh, electric motor is actually housed. Anyway, I'm really excited to have this new tanker. I uh, plan to put a lot of miles onto it. Um, it was actually a cost share, so we did get some grant money to help with the cost of this. Uh, but we have quite a bit of investment in it ourselves, and uh, rightfully so. It's something we're proud of and look forward to using to help our dairy community. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Tomarosa.